The temperature in the South China Sea just ticked up a degree or two. The Chinese government has sent two patrol ships to the Senkaku Islands in the South China Sea after accusing Japan of stealing control of the disputed territory. Al Jazeera and BBC have the story. The Senkakus have been under Japanese rule since 1895 when they were annexed from Taiwan. A Japanese family even holds a deed. But China doesn't recognize this deed and says the islands have always belonged to them. The move follows Japan's confirmation that it signed a contract to buy three of the islands from their private owner. Japan and China have a long history of conflict in the region, but the New York Times reports this latest tussle with Japan might reflect the Chinese government's efforts to divert attention from its own problems, namely the sporadic appearances of Premier-in-waiting Xi Jinping. Some Western analysts say they believe the strong public defense of China's territorial claims may be a means of deflecting attention from an unusually rocky succession process while abetting the strong nationalist feelings in China against Japan. There is also nationalism at play. And while the claims of ownership are strictly historical, CNN reports the real motivation for control may actually be commercial. These disputes are not just about land, but also what's around the land. The waters themselves are rich fishing grounds, and there is a potential for untapped gas reserves. The U.S. also says it has a stake in the South China Sea. Former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. John Bolton writes in the Wall Street Journal, American involvement must oppose Chinese expansion in the region in order to protect American national interests. There are high tangible stakes for us and our Asian and Pacific friends. The stakes include undersea mineral resources and sea lanes of communication and trade critical to U.S. and global prosperity. This isn't the first case of China flexing its muscle in the region. Back in May, the Philippines protested when China sent 100 ships to a disputed area known as Scarborough Shoal, also in the South China Sea. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Gorris. Multiple sources, the real story.